Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Mint Delivery. This was sent to me by Poketo and is designed by Justin Blask. Mint Delivery is a refreshingly light pick-up and deliver game. Easy to learn with a small footprint. It's the perfect filler game to keep you engaged time and time again. Let me show you how to play. So in Mint Delivery, you are mint delivery drivers, picking up mints made at uh, Mort's factory and delivering them around the region to fulfill customer orders. The player that does the best job will become the employee of the month and win the game. Now, at the beginning of the game, you get some of these orders face down, uh, and you can keep up to six stars worth. As you can see, the orders have a location and uh, a mint requirement. Now, on your turn, you can do up to two of the actions following. Uh, in any order, and you can even do the same action twice. So, first thing you can do is just move. You move your truck on any space connected by a road to the space on which they're located. So, this could be one, two. Two actions. You can also load and unload your truck. So if I if I am the purple player, let's say I was uh, in the East Warehouse over here, uh, I can load two mints onto my truck as an action. If you're in Mintopia City, you can load up to four mints on your truck. You may also, if you want, unload mints from your truck as well. Fulfilling an order is a free action. So let's say the green truck uh, goes all the way to Freshness Falls. And Freshness Falls is asking for three white mints. He gives them three white mints. That's a free action. He fulfills the order. Turn the order face down to show it's been completed in front of you and put the mints in the supply. For another action, you can also take orders. So if you are on one of these city spaces, uh, you may select uh, one of the face-up orders. So each city has two face-up orders, which I totally remembered to do at the beginning. Remember that? I remember. So green player might go, you know, ooh, I wanna go for this easy green mint uh, card. So they take the order as an action. You then add one mint to the card in that town you did not take. Then reveal a new order from the deck. If you pick up a card or an order that has mints on it, you can put those mints for free in your truck. And finally, if your truck is in Mintopia City, you can exchange or uh, you can upgrade your mints. So two white mints becomes a green mint. And if you had three white mints, you could get a red mint. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. You're moving around, collecting the mints you need and depositing them, fulfilling orders and getting new orders. At the end of the game, uh, if there are any two towns with zero orders left in their supply, or all four towns have no cards left in their deck, uh, you just make sure everyone has the same number of turns, and then you finish the game. Then you count up all the stars on your completed orders. Most stars wins. That's pretty much it. Uh, there are also, I guess, uh, there's advanced variants. You can do, like, player abilities, which give you, you know, stuff like... Uh, you know, little bonuses and stuff like one plus one mint capacity and so on. Uh, there's also road hazards, but uh, basically that's just wanted to show you this sort of the base game. And uh, that's pretty much it. So here's another game in the mint series. It's again, cute idea. The package is, you know, oh great, it's mint. I think it's cute. I think it's nice that it's portable, but is the game fun? It's fine i still think the only one worth getting so far that i've played is mint works uh here with mint delivery you have a very standard and ultimately not very interesting pickup and delivery game i think what kills this game is there's not a lot of player interaction you're just kind of on your own little solo routes just trying to be efficient and it's fine but it's not particularly engaging i kind of found myself not caring at all what other people were doing yeah, I guess you could take other people's cards or other order cards before other players, but not really. It doesn't really matter. And you're just kind of chugging along very slowly, mind you, because moving a space is one action. So with two actions, there's not a whole lot you can do each turn. You're just kind of, boop, boop. Okay, boop, boop. All right, I'm on a city. Deposit an order. Uh, you're getting your little deliveries done, but... There's not much to think about or, in my experience, care about. Ultimately, I can't really recommend this. It's probably my least favorite of the Mint games I've played. I thought Mint Cooperative was flawed, but at least it was kind of ambitious, if not balanced. Or it was unbalanced. That was the problem with it. 
This one is just bland, and come on, if you, nothing worse than a bland mint, right? Uh, if you want one of these games, I still think Mint Works is the one to go for. This one is, eh.